That's a whole bunch of Norman we found. Yes, an abnormal amount. But I gotta say, their abilities really are helpful. Why does everyone leave them alone? Yeah, you'd think there would be droves of Seraphim asking for their help. Long ago, there was in fact an enormous demand for them. They were booked up for months at a time. So why are they just wandering around now? One day their leader, well, their leader-ish person, rose up against the extreme work conditions. Demanding autonomy for Norman Seraphim, plus a significant raise in wages. He called on the other Norman to join the fight for independence. A Norman revolt? Were there many casualties? None. The only one pushing for independence was the leaderish fellow. The others were simply like... We don't mind helping, but it'd be real sweet if we could get maybe a 300-year break between crunch time. And that was more or less that. So easy going. But that's Norman for you. And what happened to the leader? Well, that's a whole nother... After a protracted battle with another Seraph, he lost and was never seen again. Or so the story goes. Huh. So Norman have their own history too. Lila, I get. But you sure know a lot about Norman, Edna. You really must like them a whole... I just hear rumors, that's all. blessings and good fortune, right? What kind of good fortune would you guys bring? Hmm, mine would probably be something like academic achievement. Let me guess, Lila would be family safety and security? <laughs> Quite possibly. Mine would probably be lucky and love, by which I mean a pretty lady'd fall in love and I'd get lucky. I suppose I'd be perfect health. You? Really? That'd be odd. Not really. I've been hit by lightning on multiple occasions, tumbled off the peak of Rayfalk, gotten caught in an enormous landslide, stubbed my pinky toe on the edge of the dresser, gotten a tiny fishbone stuck in my throat, and yet, here I am, safe and sound. Holy crap! Well, okay, some of that was just regular crap, but still, whoa! You really are lucky, Edna. To a bizarre extent, even. But it's how I survived being near my brother, even after he had turned into a dragon. <sighs> Though I'm not sure it was entirely blind luck. Attention, everyone. Uh, what's up? I found this. A letter? This will be a short missive. The time for alliance grows nigh. I would judge your true strength. I shall await you in the far depths of Igrain, the Shrine of the Fire Trial. I will not blame you if you turn and run, but know that I shall judge you to be cowards. What the huh? It's a summons. They want us to go to the Fire Trial Shrine. Sounds like someone wants to pick a fight with us. Who? Seriously? I'm curious about the time for alliance bit. You are? A lady's intuition, is it? If that's what you want to call it. Well, all right then. Why don't we check it out? and friends what are you doing here we got a letter how about you attack same with us it went on and on about the time has come the time has come for the alliance and liberation what what the 
mascot was a Norman? Who are you? Very well. You want to know who consigned you to the flames of hell. I am... Oh, look, everyone! It's Brother Phoenix! I ain't seen you in a dog's age. Ain't that the truth? How you doing? You still hyper? Of course he is. Yep, it's true that Phoenix might be the strongest of all us Norman. But if you took away his hyper, there'd be nothing left. I am the man among men, the strongest of all Norman, Phoenix! We kind of figured that out already. Ah, oh, blast. I practiced it so many times. Uh, so, Phoenix, you're the one who called us all here? Why, yes. Yes, I did. I disguised myself as a mascot and secretly assessed your abilities this whole time. I knew you were there. We did too, actually. He was pretty obvious. He was dangling right there. But it was good to keep quiet. He's so easily emasculated. For sure, for sure. He gets way too wrapped up in appearances. <sighs> I was surprised. Is that really true? True enough. <laughs> what a farce. I could never relinquish her to such a buffoon. Huh? Relinquish her? Show me your power, then we'll talk! Oh, hey! Why do we need to fight? Who needs a reason? A man's man speaks with his fists! My fists are pretty capable too. Uh, fine! I don't get it, but I'll do it! Forces of nature! Oh, yeah. Horizon, oh. This is oh. 
This is indeed the Shepherd's power. I concede. You are worthy to care for Edna. For Edna? I figured as much. Oh, I get it. Edna's brother gave Phoenix to her as a memento. So then, Aizen asked him to use his Norman powers to protect Edna from all threats. Including Aizen himself. Hmm. Then I have nothing more to say. Man among men indeed. So, Phoenix, what are your plans from here on out? Is it not obvious? We resume our war for independence. In bringing us together, you fools have given us the chance of a lifetime. Starting this moment, the Second Great Norman Rebellion begins! Rise, fellow Norman. Rise, my downtrodden brethren. The time of revolution is at hand! Brother Phoenix, you ought to know by now. We don't cotton to that kind of talk. Uh, it ain't like they're abusing us or nothing. We get to help out the Shepherd. We're valuable. Come on, Brother Phoenix. Let's hang out with Miss Lila. She's a hoot. <sighs> Complacent sheep, dazzled by your bread and circuses. But I will not give up. I am the Phoenix, and my aspirations are undying! I vow to establish a hegemony of the Norman, by the Norman, for the Norman! Good luck with that. Well, for now, let's keep working with them while this little uprising plays itself out. Good idea. <laughs> 